Hello children, what's going on? Studying? No. Playing? Yes. Play around. And study also. Do your work always and watch all the videos. Understand properly, improve your English, your English conversation, handwriting, all these things you have to do. So children, you have seen all the previous lessons and I am here with a new lesson. Before I take up the lesson, I want to ask you something that when you celebrate your birthday, that's very important for you, no? It's an important day for you. You enjoy a lot. You have fun all the time. You bring your friends, invite your friends and enjoy with them. Your relatives, your neighbors, you might be calling. Same way on so many festivals like Diwali, Eid, Holi, Christmas, Guru Purab. No? All these festivals also we celebrate with great joy. We have fun. These festivals are celebrated by some particular religions. And then we invite others to come and have a treat in the house or to enjoy, to have fun and to give them some gifts. All such things we do. These are very important days for us. We celebrate these festivals and rejoice. Same way in our country also we have some important days. So in this lesson we are going to see about the important days of our country and these important days we celebrate with great joy and the whole country not one particular religion or region or area the whole country is celebrating these important days so we have three important days it comes every year thrice you will see these important days are uh, coming in a year like we celebrate independence day republic day Gandhi Jayanti. These are known as national festivals like how we celebrate other festivals but we celebrate with a small group of people. But these festivals are celebrated in the whole country. Each and every person whether he is belonging to any region, any state, any city in our country all celebrate this fest these festivals and enjoy. These festival festivals are very important for us and they have very great meaning. We achieved something on these days and that is why we rem remember these days as national festivals. Like Independence Day, we got our independence from the British rule. Republic Day, we celebrate because we started our own government. We made the constitution, all the rules and everything, rights, duties, everything are mentioned in the constitution. And we are very happy that we have got the right to form our own government. We are now forming our government Previously, we were under the British rule. So, on 26 January, this important day, we got our constitution and that's why we celebrate the Republic Day. Then, Gandhi Jayanti, he is a very important person for us, known as Bapu, father of the nation. Why? Because he was the person who 
enabled us to fight the British rule and achieve, attain independence. So he is the person behind the success story of independence that we are enjoying today. We are independent. We are not at all slaves of the British or any other country or any other kingdom or something. We have got our own country. We belong to our country India and no one is ruling over us. It is we the people who elect the people to become those people to become the prime minister or other ministers, chief ministers and all this is in our hands. Those who have got the citizenship of our country, India, we have got the right to vote and 18 years and above are able to vote and this right we have got. Why? Because we are independent. So we celebrate all these important days and I am sure you have understood it. I have already explained to you earlier also in the Google Meet and now I have I am going to take you to the screen and show you many things uh, re related to this lesson. You will understand it in a better way. I am sure you are going to do well and rock always. So keep rocking, keep enjoying and keep studying. So now over to the screen to see all this in the lesson. So let's go. Good morning children. Have a nice day. Welcome to lesson 14 important days. Key points in the lesson. Independence Day number 1. Number 2 Republic Day. Number 3 Gandhi Jayanti. Number 4 something to do. So we are going to see all these in this lesson. Festivals bring us joy and happiness. Many festivals are celebrated all over the country. So when we celebrate festivals, we feel very happy, we enjoy and in our country, there are many festivals that are celebrated. So, people have fun on these days and this fun brings one another close. People come closer to one another. A festival which is celebrated by all the people of a nation is called a national festival. We celebrate three national festivals. So, when we celebrate festival, all the people of the country celebrate together, then such festivals are called national festivals. The whole country celebrates all these festivals. And we have three national festivals, Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti. So one by one we are going to see each festival. Independence Day. Our country India got its freedom from British rule on 15th August 1947. So on 15th August 1947 we got our freedom. Till then we were under the British rule. And from this day, our country became free. The people of our country, they became free. And that's why we celebrate independent, Independence Day. Independence means we became free. Every 
year on this day, the whole country celebrates Independence Day. So on this day, on 15th August, every year, we celebrate Independence Day. Like how every year you celebrate your birthday on the day you were born. Same way, the whole country celebrates the Independence Day to give respect to our country and to feel that, yes, we are free now. Prime Minister hoists the national flag at Red Fort, Delhi. So in Delhi, the Prime Minister hoists the national flag. He also gives a speech to his countrymen. And from here, he gives a speech to the whole country. The whole country listens to the Prime Minister from this place. So you can see the Red Fort over here and the parade going on on this festival, Independence Day. Next comes Republic Day. We celebrate Republic Day on 26 January. Every year we are celebrating Republic Day as I explained to you that on this day we got our constitution and we uh, are able to form our own government now. We give vote and those who are 18 years and above we give vote and elect our Prime Minister and other Ministers. And also, uh, we uh, are able to understand that what the Constitution is. On this day, the Constitution came into force and that's why we celebrate this festival. The President of India takes the salute of a grand parade at India Gate. And on this day, the President of India stands there at India Gate and takes the salute of the Grand Parade. These are the, this is the parade going on and the parade when it passes in front of the President, then the President has his hand up saluting all the people who are taking part in the parade. School children, army, Air Force, Navy and folk dancers from different states of India take part in the parade. And all the children who go to Delhi, they all take part in the parade and the, in front of the president and everyone feels very proud. You see, this is the Air Force performing the parade and Navy performing the parade and many folk dancers from every state of India go there and perform in front of the president and people are very very happy on this day. So this is how the Republic Day is celebrated not only in Delhi but in every part of India whether it is a school, office, factories, wherever people are working they hoist the flag and give honor to our country. Remember everything on this day, what the people, the freedom fighters did and how they got independence, all these things we remember on these days, Independence Day and also on Republic Day. Next comes Gandhi Jayanti. Mahatma Gandhi is called the father of the nation. So Mahatma Gandhi, we call him as the father of the nation, father of the country. And he was born on 2nd October 1869. So Gandhiji was born on 2nd October 1869. And we celebrate this day as Gandhi Jayanti. And that's why we celebrate his birthday and we have marked it as Gandhi Jayanti. And every year, on this day, Gandhiji's birthday, Mahatma Gandhi's birthday is celebrated as Gandhi Jayanti. So, these are the important days. You see, the, all these things we see and we remember Gandhiji because he was one of the person, one of the main important person who got us freedom. Because of him today, 
we are living in free India. On this day, we remember Mahatma Gandhi by praying and singing bhajans at Gandhi Samadhi at Raj Ghat, New Delhi, as well as other places. So, on this day, we remember Mahatma Gandhi and uh, in every place, wherever his birthday is being celebrated, bhajans are sung and also uh, in Delhi, people go to Raj Ghat where his samadhi is made in New Delhi. People go there and pay their homage, respect to Gandhiji. So, this is how we celebrate uh, Mahatma Gandhi's uh, birthday and do you know Mahatma Gandhi's name is Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. You must know his name and what sacrifices he made for our country and how he was killed. All these things you must know about Gandhiji. Learn many things about him. So, all the things have been finished. All the three national festivals are over and now we are going to do something to do. Write the dates of each one. So, Independence Day, you will write 15th August. Republic Day, you will write 26th January. Gandhi Jayanti, you will write 2nd October. So, these exercises you will do in your book. Then, you see, draw and color the national flag. Here, you have to draw and color the national flag. You will put the colors and uh, you will write down the colors here. The colors of our national flags are. So, these colors you will fill. You will draw a nice national flag and you will fill saffron, white, green. These are the colors which are there in the national flag and this is the Ashok Chakra. So, it has 24 spokes in it and it is navy blue in color. The national flag of our country is also known as Tiranga. We call it Tiranga. Why? Because it has three main colors here. Saffron, white and green. And also we call it as tricolor. The next exercise, name them. The Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi. The President of India, Shri Ramnath Kovind. You will write down in your book. All these things. State true or false for the following statements. Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated on 2nd February every year. No. Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated on 2nd October. So this is wrong. False you will write. 15th August is celebrated as Independence Day. Yes. On 15th August we celebrate Independence Day. So it is true. The President of India unfurls the national flag at Red Fort on 15th August. No, the Prime Minister unfurls the national flag on Independence Day. So, this is a wrong answer. A Republic Day is observed as a national holiday. Yes, it is a holiday that day. All offices, schools, all are closed though people go to their offices and schools, children go to celebrate these national festivals. So, all the uh, national festivals are national holiday, but people go and celebrate, hoist the flag and remember all these freedom fighters who fought for us. The, the Prime Minister is popularly known as the father of nation. So, yes or no? You have to think. Is it correct? No. Who is popularly known as the father of the nation? Gandhiji. So, this is the wrong statement. So, you will put false. So, all the true and false over. And now, we are going to do match the following. Gandhi Jayanti, you will mark it, match it with 2nd October, Folk Dancers, Parade on 26th January, Tiranga, National Flag, Rajghat, Gandhi Samadhi is there, Free India, when? On 15th August. 
So this is how you will do the match the following and you will be able to enjoy this lesson I'm sure and this is towards the end of the uh, lesson now and now we are going to see why we are going to be happy because almost all the lessons are over and the session is coming to an end and also this uh, uh, this lesson also has come to an end so see children if you are very regular in your work, you will be able to do everything. Even when school opens, you will be, um, you will not have any problems. But if you don't do your work regularly, you will have many problems. You won't be able to write. You won't be able to read. So be regular. And also follow this rule. Stay home. Stay safe. If you are staying home, you will be safe. And many lives will be safe because of this attitude of yours. So, thank you children for listening, for being good and for doing all your work. And now, only one lesson is uh, left and that I will explain in the Google Meet. So, bye for now and I will not meet you now through the videos, only through the Google Meet.